again, we the whole numbers are the only thing that mean anything, but the calculator draws a smooth curve, right? This is the amount of money you have at the end, and you notice it's leveling off here. Okay, it's not continuing to go up forever. If you compound it instantaneously, the instant you have any kind of interest, if you compounded that, it's not going to make a difference eventually. It's going to level off. If you continue to the right, it's eventually going to look almost like a uh, horizontal line. And the speed of this calculator, it's lightning fast. It won't even let me hold the button down. On your real calculator, you can hold the button down, I think, can't you? Okay, I'm tired of that. But you get the idea, right? It's going to be a horizontal line there. It levels off. It has an upper limit. Those are good words. Given that the next uh, chapter is called limits, it's important to understand that this has an upper limit. So maybe you could write that right at the bottom here somewhere. Uh, this function, f of x equals, it was 1 plus 1 over x to the x. as a limit as x gets larger and larger without boundaries. Okay, without boundaries or without bounds. So when we say the function has a limit, it means the value of the function, okay, i.e. the value of f or, or y value, we'll put y value, okay, y value levels off. The way you're going to write it with symbols here is you're going to use the word, or you're going to use the symbol L-I-M for limit. Okay, so this is with symbols. With symbols. Let's make some space in here. Okay, the next, the next chapter is about limits. So this is important to understand what a limit is, which is why we looked at this E stuff here, because it's a convenient function to, to draw out of a real-life example rather than just an arbitrary random function. So the way you write this is you say the limit as, and you put this underneath here, as x with an arrow pointing to the right. If it's getting larger and larger without bound, you say it's approaching infinity. Okay, so I'm going to write the words underneath the symbols here. And we should even maybe make this clear that this is something different. The limit as x approaches infinity. So with words, it's the limit of f of x. So with symbols you say limit of f of x right beside it as x approaches infinity equals, what was the upper limit? What did it level off at? Yeah, yeah, we should put maybe approximately here. Roughly 2.718, whatever it is. Or in other words, that value is e. e is the, e is the upper limit of continuous growth, continuous compounding. So with words, the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity. Is e, or approximately 2.718. Okay, let's color code this here. This is the limit, the limit of, okay, so that symbol means the limit of, because we want to read this and interpret it correctly. F of X is obviously F of X. There you go. As X approaches infinity, again, that just means as X gets larger and larger without any boundaries on it, that's what this means right here. The limit um, of F of X as X approaches infinity, well, then I suppose is equal to that, so this, right? Okay, are we okay with that? I want, it's, it's really important before we start talking about limits to understand what it means to, 
to have a limit. Some functions you talk about aren't going to have limits. And I already went over my 10 minutes again, but whatever. Some functions that you look at aren't going to have limits. What's that? Edit the video. Then I got to buy the pro edition of the thing, which costs two hundred dollars. I'm using the free version right now. I just actually I just split it into two, and then it works. It's not the it's not this program. It's YouTube only lets you go up to ten minutes. Um, oops. Uh, lots of functions you have. Not every function has an upper limit. Think about some of the functions you know. Uh, if you think about just a line. Does that have an upper limit? Do the values level off at something? Now, I'm going to say that there's no finite limit. I guess, it, I mean, it's goofy to say that it has a limit of infinity. Like, as you go to the right, as far as you can go, the function ends up at infinity. Infinity is not a finite number, which is why they call it infinity. It's infinite. Other functions you've looked at, parabolas. Quadratic functions, this is going to keep going up forever here, right? As you go to the right or you go to the left, both of those hit infinity. Incidentally, for this for this over here, if you went to the left, if you said you want to go all the way that way, it's not going to reach infinity. It's going to go down to negative infinity. So we're going to talk about, it's, it's strange, we're going to talk about limits um, that, approach, that are infinite limits. Uh, a function that you might know. Can you think of a function that you that does level off at something that you know of? Ah, uh, the what? Uh, yeah, if you oh uh, sequences and series. You mean this uh, infinite? Yeah, in there I know. Um, if you have a function that drops down like that, so probably the simplest one is just one over x. If you have one over x, it's like this. This as, you know, if you talk about the limit here, the limit of this function, because if you look at the graph here, again, maybe you don't believe my beautiful looking graph there, but if you, if you put in 1 over x, and let's just do this the simple way and do zoom decimal. If I trace the curve here and go to the right, what's going to happen with these values as I continue to go to the right infinitely? They're getting smaller and smaller, but do they ever drop below? How low are they going to drop? Above zero. It's never going to get to zero, right? But it's going to get infinitely close to zero. You've talked about asymptotic behavior, asymptotes, functions that have asymptotes. Horizontal asymptotes are very much connected to limits, and so those two things are going to be connected when we... Uh, when we start getting into the next chapter. If something has a horizontal asymptote, essentially what you're looking at is what is its limit. This function would have a limit of, what's its limit? What is this lower bound? Or like what does the function tend to get to? What's the value of it as you go infinitely to the right? Zero, right? Even though the curve never touches zero, its limit is zero. That's the boundary, right? So you would say the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity is zero because it tends to go to zero. Right? This, this, the farther to the right you go here, the closer and closer it gets to zero. So if you allow it to go infinitely to the right, its limit is zero. Any questions about that? What's that? This side? You could, you, uh, if, if you wanted to say the limit as x approaches negative infinity, you could talk about the limit on the other side as well. Good point. Is that any different in this case for this function? No, same thing, right? You can have functions that have different limits on either side. This one happens to have the same thing on either side. Or you could have, I guess you could design a function where it does have a limit on one side but not on the other side. Okay, if there's no questions, um, I, I'm going to assume again that some of the previous stuff in this section, like solving some of these exponential function problems that you're okay with, you're going to check with other people. Um, I can write out some answers later and you can check uh, later on. Um, but, but it's sort of review of grade 12, so if you, if you need some help with that, make sure you come and find some help, either from me or somebody else.